Hello and welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. My name is Kirsten Ostaff and I'm going to be the teacher for this Irish Tin Whistle course of easy, popular Irish session tunes. Okay, this is lesson one and the first tune that I'm going to teach is perhaps the most popular Irish session tune in the whole world. The good news is that all of the tunes I teach in this course are available as backing tracks on the oaim.ie website. And these tracks allow you to practice the tunes along slowly at first and then gradually build up your speed. Um, this is a brilliant way of accelerating your learning while having good fun and playing the tunes with others. Some of the tunes I'm teaching in this course um, are also featured on our virtual reality Irish sessions. So make sure to check them out. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the first tune in this series called The Kesh Jig. That was the Kesh jig and in the next part of the lesson I'm going to break the jig down slowly phrase by phrase. We're going to continue developing the ornamentation taught in my first course, Tin Whistle Basics, cuts, taps, rolls and slides and we're going to consolidate these techniques with exercises that are designed to optimise your learning so you can progress on your tin whistle as quickly as possible. Okay, the Kesh jig, part one, phrase one. Listen and watch. Okay, the first note's G, but I'm sliding up to the G from an F, okay? And I'm cutting that B. Moving on. The whole of the first phrase. Good, right, moving on. Starts on a knee, but I'm slightly sliding up from the D. Now the, there's two Ds um, twice, so um, I'm separating the Ds with a light glottal stop or a light tongue. Moving on. Okay, so the whole of that second phrase, starting on the E with a slide up to it. Let's play phrase one and phrase two together, starting on the G with the slide up. Moving 
moving on. The, th the third phrase is exactly the same as the first, but we're going to start the first phrase instead of holding the G, we're going to do a G roll. So, so I roll where I'm still, I'm sliding up to the G from the F, then I'm cutting and tapping. So slide, cut, tap, slide, cut, tap, G, A, B, okay? In part four of this lesson, I'm going to give you an exercise all about the G roll, okay? And moving on to the last phrase. Okay, let's play the first part together nice and slow. After four, three, four. Okay, moving on to the second part of the tune. Listen and watch the first phrase. Okay, again, notice how I slide up to the first note and um, the last note, the last A, I do a tap on. a bit slower. Three, four. Moving on, second phrase. So I'm starting this phrase with a cut on the B. Okay, and the second part of the phrase. I'm using a cut to separate the two notes. The two notes of the same tonal value are being separated with a cut. So the whole of the second phrase together, starting on the B cut. Let's do the first and the second phrase together, starting with a slide up to the B. So after four, three, four. phrase is the same as the first. You might notice I did a little cut in the middle of the B just for a little variation in ornamentation. So the first, the, the start of the phrase, the slide then cut. Okay. 
And the last phrase in the second part starts with a high G roll. Again, we're gonna soften the roll by coming up from the F below. After the roll, I'm cutting the A and I'm also cutting the B. So, okay, let's play the second part twice together, nice and slow. After four, three, four. Okay, we've now learned the first two parts of the Keshjig and um, I just now want to focus a bit on the G roll. Now G ro rolls are very popular, a very popular ornament because there's many many tunes in the key of G. Um, G major is probably the most common key in Irish session tunes. I'm going to play a little exercise. Um, featuring the G roll. Now it's not enough just to practice the G roll in isolation. It's often getting the notes before the roll in, while we're panicking, before we're doing our ornament, and also to be able to execute the roll and go straight into the next note. So here is the little exercise I've devised to help you do so. it on the D and before every G roll I am sliding up to it I like the the softening that you get from a slide before a roll so I'm doing D slide from the F up into the roll now remember when you're playing the rolls to keep the timing even even um, and in time with the tune so if the tunes being played very fast then you have to make the roll very fast, but we're playing nice and slowly and nice and evenly here. So it's D, G roll, E, G roll, F, G roll, A, G roll, B, G roll. time you can increase the speed and um, there's a really good exercise for the fingers and the mind. Okay in the next part of the lesson we're going to do whole tune practice so play along with me I'm going to play the whole of the Kesh jig at a nice and steady pace and on the repeat of the tune I'm going to incre increase the speed slightly. Okay